Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, looks at, yep, I know, I know. Got a little paint. Sorry, I was doing a little home renovations uh, last night, so if you don't really bother my little cuticle uh, section here. So we have a, now I'm kind of like scared to show you my fingernails. I have a. 0.2413, those numbers mean absolutely nothing to you. I don't know why I'm telling you. But what we have here is an expression, 2x minus 4 divided by, all divided by, 4x. So here we notice that we have um, two variables. I have two unknowns. Actually, I could say this as 2 multiplied by a number minus 4, all divided by 4 times that number. Or I could say the quotient of 2 times a number minus 4 and four times a number. So that's just kind of going back to a little translating practice. But the thing is, up till now, we don't know what that variable is. But now, I'm telling you, I want you to represent the value of that variable as negative three. So all I can simply do is now just plug in the value for negative three in for my value of x, because I'm saying the value of x is equal to negative three. So therefore, we can just replace a negative 3 for x. So when I replace a variable, I always like to put it in parentheses. I don't like to do the math in my head. I just want to put it in parentheses so I make sure I get everything all right. OK, so now 2 times negative 3 is a negative 6 uh, minus 4 all over 4 times negative 3, which is negative 12. Now I'm going to have to kind of move this work over here because I ran out of space. Um, negative 6 minus 4 is a negative 10 divided by negative 12. We notice now we have a negative divided by negative, so the negatives are actually going to cancel out. And then um, I need to see, can I reduce this fraction? Can I make this fraction more simple? And uh, the answer, obviously, is going to be yes. If you divide by 2, you'll get a positive 5, 6, which is your final reduced solution for evaluating this expression.